Uh, shalom. Kaulayim la Yahweh. Bahasham Yahweh Shai. Bahasham Chakudash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of great millstone that rule well. Much peace and blessings. To all you sense of Akimah, their expression is 100% truth. With all sincerity, faith, and charity. Okay. It's going to be another lesson. All learn is edifying the elect of the nation of Israel. Okay. This is another word of the week. And this week's word is charity. Okay, charity, which is used several times in the, in the scriptures. Okay, uh, specifically the, the New Testament. And, and of course, uh, in the Greek, it's agape, which means brotherly love. Okay, and or love feast. Okay, uh, as a matter of fact, um, just quoting Psalms 133, right? How goodly and pleasant it is for a brethren to dwell together in unity. The scriptures have much to say about brotherly love. Okay, as a, uh, as a matter of fact. Okay, this is 1 John chapter 3 and verse, verse 10. In this the children of God are manifest, and the children of the devil. Whosoever doeth not righteousness is not of God, neither he that loveth not his brother. For this is the message ye have heard from the beginning, that we should love one another. Okay, and that... Uh, shows the importance of brotherly love. The scriptures say that's the manifestation of, of of the children of the Most High. Okay, it's also written. Uh, Yahweh Shai's, I believe, said, "If ye have not seen the, no, as a matter of fact, I think that's John said that. But the scriptures say, uh, how can you love your your the, the father who you have not seen if you don't love your brother?" So the scriptures say, uh, by this shall all, all men know ye are my disciples, the love which ye have for one another. And it's not the love of the of the world. Okay, the love of the world is it's about feeling, it's about sensationalism, it's about emotions, okay, it's about virtue signaling. About the rainbow mob, okay. It's not uh, the true love of, of the scriptures. The true love of the scriptures is rebuking your brother if he goes off, right? Telling him the truth, not lying to him, okay? Not uh, bearing hatred in your heart for your brother. If you have a problem, you you speak on it, right? It's about Loving uh, your brother as you as you love, as you love yourself, treating others you know treat your brother the way you want to be treated, which can take you uh, a long way in this truth, as we're gonna read. You know, a lot of people they underestimate the power of charity when it comes to this truth. A lot of people they come into this truth and they have or maintain a spirit of selfishness which is bred in them from the world and they come into the truth with that same spirit you know with uh, me 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 right they're not able to condescend to brothers right they, they have to maintain a, a spirit like they're better than other brothers and men like that don't last we 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 all that we have we all that we got we have to look out for one another okay this is uh let me go back to first corinthians 13 and 1 though i speak with the tongues of men and of an of a of, of and of angels and have not charity i am become as sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal and 
into the different languages, that's what that means. Going into the Hebrew, being able to teach in different languages is heavy, right? We read Acts 2 and we see how heavy that is or it can be, right? But the Lord said if you don't have charity, you know, by his apostle Paul, by the apostle Paul, right? If you don't have charity, then you don't have nothing. Your words is meaningless, basically. You're just making noise. Right? Verse 2. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains and have not charity, I am nothing. You see that? And that's, that's what we all want that. We all, the scriptures say, covet uh, to prophesy. We should all, you know, because we're, we're prophets. That's who we believe we are through the Spirit. Okay, so what does that mean? We have to go into the prophecies. We have to read. We have to study. So we'll be approved, show ourselves approved when we go on the streets and teach. To glorify the Lord. To convert brothers, uh, you know, from, you know, to the truth. You have high level faith where you can pray and believe and nothing uh, scares you because you got so much faith. You have a optimistic outlook upon life, right? But if you have no charity, if you don't understand the value of charity, said it, it, it means nothing, okay, and I'm talking to myself first, verse 3, and though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned, and have not charity, it profit me nothing, which in the world, that's what people call charity, feeding the poor, right, they call that charity work. Charity is, it, it goes deeper than feeding the poor. Okay? Because first and foremost, the Lord ain't dealing with uh, people just because they poor. Right? The scriptures say, if uh, when thou doest good, know, it, know to whom thou doest good unto. So it's not about just helping out random people. The scriptures say, give unto the godly man. Which is uh, a brother in his faith. Okay. Charity suffereth long and is kind. Charity envieth not. Charity vaunts of not itself. Is not puffed up. And charity will help you. You know, thinking about brothers will help you from being puffed up. Uh, what's that? Uh, knowledge puffeth up. Let's see. First Corinthians chapter eight and one. Now as touching things offered unto idols, we know that we all have knowledge. Knowledge puffeth up, but charity edifieth. Okay, so it means for knowledge to puff up. You know, when Jake learned this truth, start learning things, and knowledge increase exponentially, it uh, tends to have a negative effect of pride because we're in the flesh. That's natural, right? But we have to combat that with, with the spirit. Shake that, that pride off, not allow it to, to consume you. And one of the ways you can do that is charity.
right? I got the, uh, I got a different translation. This NLT, it says, now regarding your question about food that has been offered to idols, yes, we know that we all have knowledge about this issue. But while knowledge makes us feel important, it is love that strengthens the church. <laughs> See that? So that's a cut. That shows you charity goes beyond knowledge. It goes beyond, you know, sounding smart. Okay, uh, the fact we'll end off on this. This is 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 8. And above all things, see that? Above all things, have fervent charity among yourselves, for charity shall cover the multitude of sins. So charity can actually cover your sins. That's, that's high level. Okay, of course we're not to have a mindset to abuse that. And think, oh, uh, if I just be as wicked as all hell, then I'd show charity, you know, because we read what charity is. It goes deeper than just giving alms. It goes deeper than just giving a brother a ride. You actually have to be in the spirit of charity. You actually have to let it uh, basically exude off you and, and the way you move around a brother's period, letting it drive your decisions. actually considering the brotherhood in your actions and putting the Akim first you know of course the Lord first but putting the Akim first you know before you is is uh, actually a, a very great way of putting on as the elect Okay, which is, you know, which is your sins being covered. Okay, the elect sins are going to be covered. So we can all use charity. We all have multitude of sins. So just speaking the truth. Lord, was that a fine? This is something I want to say. Lord, was that a fine? But then we give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah Bashem, Abadash, until the next one, Shalom.